Agreed. Yang was at a gun violence seminar over the weekend. Yeah. You see this? I watched it before I before we started, yeah. Okay. Well I'm oh, gonna, I'm gonna play this for you and then you're gonna and then we're gonna talk about it. Can't wait. four-year-old daughter, Dela, was struck by a stray bullet March 2011. My son, my daughter's twin brother, witnessed... Now, this woman, her daughter was shot and killed. The son, or her brother, who's also six or seven, watched the sister die. How about I just shut up? What happened that day? She died two days later. Firearms are the second leading cause of death for children and teenagers in the U.S., but 4.6 million American children live in homes with at least one gun that is loaded and unlocked, and hundreds of them gain access to a gun and unintentionally shoot themselves or someone else every year. As president, how would you address unintentional shootings by children? Thank you for that. Can I give you a hug? Is that be appropriate? Really? What's wrong with that? Why don't you like that? Really? You think that's too over the top? You think he just didn't it's too feel? too fucking much. Can I, I think... give you a hug? Yeah, the guy was... runs off the stage. A lot of people like that. That is he it... felt that he wanted to give her a hug after that is emotional it... story. And is you it don't too like mu- it. You're... It's not. It's possible that it's too much, but he's acting on impulse and emotion right there. You think in his head he, she's saying that? And he's just like, oh, I'm going to run and go get a hug. That's what that's well, I'm that's just, an emotional response. Do you disagree? This, no, no, you make great points. And this is generational. Yeah. But there is a lack of presidentiality in going, like, can I give you a hug? Like, you, you, he seems like the guy, he seems like a guidance counselor in chief. I could definitely. A grief counselor in chief. Can I run down there and give you a hug? I like that. I'm sorry. All right, hold on. My son. My daughter's million a <laughs> Now the guy comes back up on the stage. He's about to go weird Asian on us. Watch. I have a six and three year old boy. That's imagining. <laughs> I was imagining it was one of them that got shot and the other saw it. (laughs) Come on, bro. What, you think he's acting? Well, first of all, it's so awkward. That cry is weird. I had a talk with somebody last night. They're like, he was faking that shit. And I was like, he ain't faking it. He's Asian. These motherfuckers don't know how to cry. Asians, Asians. I never are, heard that. I don't know what. I Asian, never heard that. Asians don't cry. You ever seen an Asians that? Cry? I ain't never like seen they, an Asian that cried. I feel like they cry normal. No, they don't. Okay, Asians why? don't know how to cry. That's uh, what. I don't think he was faking the cry. Mm-hmm. I just think that the a- Asians don't. They don't show any emotions. So this. I don't think he faked it. Mm-hmm. But this guy was there. That's the creepiest, weirdest, like unemotional cry of all time. He's crying. I, it's emotional. He is not presidential because of the crying. Yeah, you that so- wax. That wax. When your emotions get the best of you, you this can't is why be I would. This is why I would be a terrible president. Yeah, Clancy. Great president. Yeah. My other buddy, great president. Yeah. There's got to be some kind of like, I got this. There's nothing you can do, nothing I haven't heard that I'm not going to just levelly listen to. Yes, have a weird emotional attachment or a connective thing, but I'm not going to like, this guy's broken fair. down in the like he's in the lunchroom with the lady at work. It's a fair point because past... How- how many presidents have there been? Forty five. Five. I knew that. Forty five. They've all been like that. That's the president, right? The one they, time where I saw 
Obama breakdown was when the Newtown kids died and the 26 first graders right. were slaughtered. Right. And he had one tear come out of his, you know, out of his face, which was perfect. Because I looked at him and I'm like, all right, he's he's got this under control, but you can see that it's affecting him. Mm-hmm. This Asian looks like he just walked out of a marriage counseling and his wife left him. I don't need to be a people. And he didn't even cry right in the, he, he, hold on. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's a, it's a fair point. I I'm think. sorry. It's still, it's still breaking down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the biggest downside of running for president for me has been that I don't get to see my family very much. Who is so this fucking guy? FaceTime, I see pictures of my boys and just that scene that she described. That is not presidential. Very, very, very That's a, wait, get the fuck out of here. I'm not voting right for that. you, dude. There's I ain't following you anywhere. It's fair. You're more likely to have. It's fair. I guess Asian I'll just say it's time. So weird. Yeah. When's the last time you saw an Asian cry? <sighs> Andrew Yang. Yeah. I was imagining it was Again. For me, I, I don't mind if my president cries a little because he's over-emotional at something. I don't mind. But I understand your point that over the past 45 presidents, there have been no criers, maybe one shed of a tear that they show. Maybe they cry in I have private. I three-year-old boy. That's Here we go. Imagining. Asian it's terrible. Cry. Asian cry. I don't think this is funny making fun of the cry while he's crying at a moment that obviously was really hurt. You know, It's so funny that someone was like, he was faking it. I was like, no, he's not. He's just... Sh- they're just one of them. I got shot and the other saw it. <laughs> I don't mean to be laughing it's at the terrible. guy. Crying. <laughs> it's absolutely you know, terrible. That you're I don't, it's just so funny to me. Asians are weird with the crying. They, He's, it's a, they keep that shit bottled up. And then they finally cry and you're like, I don't even know if you're crying because you don't have any real experience with knowing how to cry. I'm not mad at showing a little emotion if it calls for it. And he couldn't help it right there. That's an emotional situation. And there, I, but also, I think well, it eliminates you from being. There's a whole bunch of reasons why this guy well, shouldn't be president. It sounds like, by the way, the new type of president doesn't fit in a certain model. And it's 2020. And if I want to vote for someone that cries, I can't. And I think they shouldn't be disqualified from being president just because they cried. Can't you have empathy for a human being or and, for, and also be a, a yes. presidential? Yes. Do you what, think? What do you mean? Like, just be like. like I want empathy. Andrew Yang to come over to my house and console me. Yeah. I want him to come over and tell me you're going to be all right, buddy. Mm-hmm. But that's me. Yeah. I'm not a president. There's nothing about me that's presidential. Yeah, I guess the he's def- a great guy. He's also uh, Asian, so he doesn't really know how to cry, which is so weird to watch Asians cry. It's the weirdest. I don't, I don't want it. this fucking guy being president of the United States. <laughs> Do you? He's, I'm not a definite no. I you're would hear being, him out. You're being, I've liked him in the first couple debates, and I'm not going to disqualify him because he cried, even though I hear that never, argument. You got to be I love you. You're never voting for him. Ever. I would vote for Andrew Yang if it was him or or Trump. I would. I know you would. For sure. Andrew and then Yang we and just anybody go else on that stage, you are not voting for him. <laughs> no. By the way, I hope we get Yang on this show. I think personally that we can get Yang on this show. When he bows out, which you think he will, right? You think it's coming up September if he makes that debate? I think he, I think he loves the spotlight, which I understand. And he'll just keep going because he can raise money. And he'll figure out maybe he'll run for Congress or he'll do something. But he likes being Andrew Yang, and I get I it. I think he's got a following that's growing. He does. Yeah, and Marianne well, is not going to probably. Is she still got a shot? I think she's made the donor thing. I don't yeah. know if she's going to get the polling. But we're definitely going to have Marianne back here again. She's oh, going to come wait. and do a post presidential run wrap up oh, that'll be fun about it, yeah and uh yang it'd be great i'll be like andrew why is it that asians have the weirdest time crying okay let's see what he says we'll see what he says i'm not sure sh- he'd have if i'm not sure he'd come on the show I, now I, I, just because you said that that's the question he's gonna get you, he doesn't want to come on can i ask you a question and then we're moving on Ugh. have you met asians you talking to me or are you pretending you're talking to me? Talking Yang? to you. Yeah, I've met a lot of Asians. Okay. Typically, culturally, uh-huh. Asians teach their children no feelings. Get the job done. 
There's they they lack an ability to be to Discipline. express their emotions. Strict, yeah. Discipline. Yeah. We have That's a goal. That's a culture in a Job lot of Asian. Hand. That is a cultural places. aspect to Asians. Got it. I'll. I, yes, I'm with you. Don't break down. Don't show weakness. Don't let them. Okay. So when you see an Asian cry, we just did. It looks a little strange. <laughs> I cry all the time. It doesn't seem strange when I cry. I'm good at crying. I have experience with crying. These Asians, you get them tears flowing. They don't know what the fuck to do with themselves. Mm, they don't, I'm, not, I'm not with it. 